Oh my God! Well, hello and welcome to Crappy Hour. I'm Ronnie. That's Ben over there. Hi, Ben. Hi, Ronnie. How are you? Good. How's it going over there, babes? Oh my goodness! It is action packed today. Let me tell you something. I just took myself to the gym, feeling good about myself, and um, as I'm walking, my alarm went off here at home and so basically the they dispatched the cops but i got home and everything was fine so i called the alarm company and said no need but they said they'll try to stop the cops but there is a chance the cops may come during crappy hours so everyone get ready for this it's gonna be exciting wow they're super helpful aren't they <laughs> Not only are you taking forever, you're going to take forever and then interrupt my shit in the meantime. <laughs> Assholes. Well, everybody, welcome. We're Ronnie and Ben from Watch What Crappens. And you probably know that because you're on our Watch What Crappens Instagram. But in case you're listening to this, it's because we finally recorded it properly. What do you think about that? Yeah, I fe I'm feeling really good about this. We're recording it both here on IG. We're also recording it on um, StreamYard. Um, so apology if my sight lines are just like not where they need to be. Obviously, this is a police crime zone, so there's a lot of distractions. <laughs> it's a crime scene. <laughs> I have actually, um, mine are great because I got these suction cups for the back of my phone. Right. And so now they're on my screen right next to my camera. Who am I looking at? You or you or you? You know what? Or you or Whoa. you? I just realized I have a little box that I could put my little thing on, my little stand on, and then I could have pretty good sightline. So if you just excuse me for one moment, I'll go grab that little box. Should I? It's right over there. I see it across the room. Can you talk for 30 yeah. seconds, even less, go, 10 go seconds? Yeah, go for it. So while he does that, we're going to go over some of the basic Bravo gossip headlines of the week. Okay, so here are the basics. There's obviously some side gossip, which we will get to probably a little later, just to make sure everybody signed on for that. Because Listen, we've all got to be here. It's like the biggest stuff for the week. Um, then there's like some Jenna, a Jenna quote from New York, which is pissing everybody off. Well, not everybody. It's pissing a lot of people off. Bethany had Nene on her podcast this week for the reality revelations. Well, that's the uh, that's that would be biblical. That would be like if Bethany was rewriting revelations in the Bible. It's not revelations. What is she calling it, Ben? Bethany's um, uh, reality reckoning. Um, the reckoning. Reckon. The reality reckoning with Bethany Frankel. Wow, what a what a leader in these times. Joe Gorga has a new ben business venture. Danielle oh. and Jen from Real Housewives of New Jersey both got suspended. And sh um, probably in the most shocking news, Mia and Gordon split. I can't oh my believe goodness. that. Uh, I I just want to know how quickly Bravo picked up their cameras again because of all the scandals. This is the one that tops it, you know? <laughs> Looking forward to that reunion. Yeah, so she is giving some of those, uh, she's giving that energy that's like, oh, you know, marriage is very hard. And we don't really know her reasoning yet. We have not seen the show. I'm guessing the reasoning has something to do with the chiropractor clinics being pulled out from under him. And mm. I'm think she pulled herself out from under him as well. I think, <laughs> l listen, if you're not going to have a relax the crack store, I'm out of here. And yeah. who can blame her if that's your deal getting married? I'm not going to I'm not going to date the Dunkin Donuts guy and then he decides to stop making donuts and then I'm going to stay with that guy? No. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah. I I I think I just I love the uh comparison of of the Dunkin' Donuts guy making donuts versus someone owning the joint chiropractor. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to like put my dreams in Mia's mm. dreams. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's a joint. It's a joint separation. Um, they're jointless. They are. They are without joints at the moment. So yeah. yeah, that's that's. So where do you want to start with all? I mean, I guess we have to start with Sai, right? Well, let's let's start a little bit with Jenna. Um, Jenna. Sure. Uh, Jenna was giving an interview to. An, a podcast called the Shut Up Evan podcast, which I love. I think I will Shut listen up, to that. Yeah, I think I will listen to that just because I love the name Shut Up Kevin or Shut Up Evan. Sorry. Is that Sorry, Evan Ross Katz? Is that, I assume that's Evan Ross Katz, right? 
I don't know, because I, you know how I work. I only, I, I read things in bed. I screenshot it, and then I cluster fuck you with screenshots in our shared folder. So that's all I have. Uh, but know what? You know what? I really appreciate your organization of it this week. It was much more manageable for me. Um, <laughs> we'll never know who whose podcast that is because I'm sure when people say, "Is that Evan Ross Katz?" and then the other Evan's like, "Actually, no, it's Evan." And before they can even he can even say his last name, everyone's like, "Shut up, Evan!" <laughs> yeah. So sorry to Evan. Uh, we I butchered it already. We're we're sending people to Evan. Ross Katz. I'm so sorry. Uh, everybody go listen to Shut Up, Evan. I'm sure it's great. Okay, so <laughs> she was on there, and um, she was talking about Real Housewives of New York. My sight lines are off because I'm looking at my iPad. Guys, this is a multi-device show, okay? Yes. So she says, I don't want it. I don't want this to become my defining moment. I'm, you know, it's like, it's tricky because I had a career prior to this, a relatively large one, and I don't want this to become my calling card. At the same time, I've become well aware that this is a very large, very visible, very passionate show. And I actually just, I just can't believe how obsessed people are with the show. So she doesn't want New York to become her defining moment. Um, and people are pissed. Okay. I was reading a lot of the comments. They're like, fuck you then. <laughs> fuck you, yeah. Jenna, you stupid bitch. Isn't it funny how the Bravo fandom can switch over the course <laughs> of one week? Yeah, it's great. Now, listen, I you know, I, you know, I really enjoy Jenna. Um, but uh, to quote Bethany, the, uh, the leader behind the reality reckoning, it's time for also a can't be smart and stupid reckoning. Because you can't act... Like you're going to come on to the Real Housewives and be like, oh, no, oh, no, I don't want this to be my defining moment. Well, it's like you were putting yourself on a platform that's like so much wider that has such a bigger, more rabid fan base. Like, it, I'm sorry, it's going to become your rabid moment. Like she basically, I guess, how many seasons before it becomes your defining moment? Because Eileen Davidson, she did two seasons and then she stopped. So it didn't become her defining moment. But Rinna, I would argue that mm -hmm. Rinna. Rinna has, was on Beverly Hills long enough that I think it actually has become her new defining moment. Well, I think that Eileen's defining moment is Days of Our Lives. And I believe that Rinna's defining moment was also Days of Our Lives. But those were defining moments in my life, you know, watching Days of Our Lives with my grandma and her sisters when I was ditching uh, junior high school. So to me, they were defining. I don't know what defines. I don't know. I don't know why I mean, not let it's... it be define you. What else is going to define you? Khakis? I mean, I'm, I'm well, not like I mean... disregarding her career. That was a huge <laughs> career and everything. But I'm just saying, like, if people, do you want to be remembered for bringing khakis back for a while or Real Housewives <laughs> of New York? I choose New York. I'm going well, to choose New York. I think Jenna Lyons, the next step for her, obviously, will be to star in the next Halloween movie. And I think that's how she's just going to change her image. Her, that'll be her new defining moment. Running from, running from, from Michael. Myers. Except she would like style Michael Myers. She'd be like I know, I know you're like trying to kill me, and I'm gonna let you kill me in just like a moment. But I just would love to do something with those sleeves. Can we just like roll them up a little bit? <laughs> so like Michael Myers. You know, I just I don't I don't want to say this. I don't want this to hurt you, but you really do rely on black pants too much. And you know, maybe a polo. What? A, I've, or, let's bring some polo. Not what about a baby blue polo? I feel like the reason why you're so murderous is actually because you are like keeping everything inside and actually like maybe a looser khaki look. You might actually like be happy with yourself and like actually want to make genuine connections for once. But I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm awkward. <laughs> I'm so awkward. I just, how do you even be a lesbian? I just don't get it. A gay bar? This is crazy. What do you even do in a gay bar? How do I talk to a girl? You say I'm from J. Crew, and then you push up your little, you know, power lesbian sunglass or glasses, and boom, you're in. The hell you are you? literally in. By the way, um, I want to say there were some people in the chat here on IG Live, at least, who were asking for the bamboo sheets. So I'm going to put the link in IG Live, and I will put it on YouTube since we are simulcasting today. Just giving a heads up. Keep an eye out for it, okay? Uh, yeah. I do this. I look for 100% bamboo sheets, which, by the way, it's a lie, on Amazon. And then I just pick whichever ones are the cheapest. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> um, okay. So that was the uh, Real Housewives of New York thing. Um, what else? Do you want to talk about Bethany's weird apology? Do you want to go straight into Psy? What do you want to talk about? You know, I... 
personally want to go straight into Sai. And actually, before we do that, just also want a reminder that on IG Live, there is a questions function. So if people have questions for us, there already are about four questions in there. But if you have questions for us that you'd like for us to read on the air, please leave a question there. And by the way, at the end of this hour, like uh, the last 15 minutes, we are going to give this over, call people up, people can chat or whatever. But in the meantime, uh, drop a question and we we'll, we can ask them answer them on the air. Where do you see these questions? Okay, at the bottom of the screen, Ronnie, there's like a there's like a talk bubble with a question mark in it. And if you click on that, I don't no, see that. You don't Could, see that. No, can you see them? I can see them. Yeah. Okay, yeah, read one. Let's do let's have a question. Okay. Um, ben, why are you see. so hot? That was one in the chat. <laughs> oh, well that's Ben that's cannot nice. help it. It's because Ben's father is hot and Ben's mother <laughs> is hot. This is and they got together and they did the <laughs> and then a hot person came out darling i don't have the carom cheekbones so um <laughs> how about this missy allen asks who do you want to come back to roni uh ronnie who do you want to come back to roni i'm fine with everybody being gone at all times listen i'm a breakup person i'd like to break up i figure if you break up you're done you're dead to me get the fuck out of here i don't want you back i'm done I'm fine with every. I'm fine with the whole re, re, Real Housewives of New York being rebooted in the first place. I feel like healthy breakups are great. It's a good time. To, it's good when you can just say, "Listen, I've loved the time that we've spent together. Now go away while you're still a decent memory." Listen, we've all said it. Now, do I love the recast? No, but I was in. I was in favor of the reboot. I'm just not in favor of how it's going. Um, how about you, Ben? Well. Um, as some of you who may have listened to the bonus episode know, I've recently come <laughs> fully out of the not liking Roni closet. I mean, I know people knew I didn't like it, but I was just trying. I'm trying, but I'm fully, I'm fully out there and not liking it. Although, admittedly, I do think the season has improved since the trip. But um, still, I would bring back Jessel and uh, Jenna because she's like fascinating but I also feel like I'm going to give Jenna one more season oh then... I thought the question was like what old cast member would you bring back you, oh. you mean from this from this season okay finish answering and I'll I assumed answer. I assumed it was this season but um, uh, I would Jenna because she still is interesting and then um, uh, who else is on this show um, I'm on the fence about Uba because I felt like Uba really came alive in Anguilla but now Uba's sort of back to being Uba so I don't know. And I think I would get rid of Sai. I would get rid of Erin, probably get rid of Bryn, but she might be able to stay. But honestly, okay, I know what people hate is when I'm like, but I love the old cast. I love the old cast. I'm not, I'm saying this not to be like this, but I was, as I was watching last night, I was thinking, God, how funny would it have been if they had just had Jessel with the old cast? Because that kind of would have been amazing. Like Jessel would have been a perfect match. Like watching Jessel trying to figure out Ramona and Lu Luann trampling over Jessel and Jessel trying to fit in and the silly thing she would have done kind of would have been hilarious. Um, I saw Ramona do on Watch What Happens or something, and I've seen a lot of clips from her Avery podcast. I don't need that back in my life. I'm totally <laughs> fine with them being gone. From this cast, I would bring back Jessel, probably Bryn, and um, Aaron, because Aaron's, I think Aaron will be a good villain in the end. Uh, even though she's not right now, I believe in her. I believe in her villainous ability. She infuriates me. I would put Uba as friend of. I would not bring yeah. Jenna back just because I think Jenna's like a good idea, but she's real. I mean, honestly, she's not doing anything. She's and a lost whoever, leader. And Sai. Sai's not interesting enough to be that villainous. I need more of an interesting villain. I think Aaron could get there because... Yeah. Really what makes a good villain on these shows is they start going crazy once they get famous. And we know that Aaron's kind of spinning out already. Just <laughs> Yeah, I do. I think that's I think fair. She'll go off, I think she'll go uh, legit crazy soon. I think that's fair. I mean, I don't like she wouldn't be my first choice. I just feel like we've lowered the bar on what makes a good villain on Roni these days. And so I think that Aaron, you know, for to, for, to her credit, she does, you know, she doesn't sit idly by. Uh, I just don't think she's as entertaining as she thinks she would be. I do I do hold out that the next season could actually be amazing because we've sort of seen some shows come into the shop as like jalopies and then on their first season, they don't really know what to do. And then, you know, Exhibit comes out and all of a sudden the car, you know, the car comes out with like five TVs in the back seat. And so, you know, it could be better in the second season. But I do think that Jenna is it like will be. A, a big flashy casting decision that gets eyeballs on the new reboot and 
I think she's going to be a one and done. Yeah, I think so too. Also, let's not forget that really one good casting choice can change everything on these shows. We've seen it happen uh -huh. a million times after season one. All it really takes is a little tweaking. So I still overall believe in it. Um, okay, so speaking of things I don't believe in, Psy, anything that comes out of Psy's mouth. Now, before we get into this, um, guys, this is internet gossip. This is not anything that's been verified nothing it's probably really shitty to even talk about it because it's uh that unverified mm. and it was just a, tw a comment was it a comment a tweet do you have it up in front of you um i have the tweet i'm gonna pull it i actually have the tweet here um on uh on our discord so let me pull it up do of course it. now it's now of course now it's not here in front of me but uh, i know it's also on our twitter so let me go there real quickly um but so, it was yeah, this is basically not verified someone, yeah, someone basically like tweeted this out, this random person. Okay, it's coming, it's coming, everyone. I really thought I had this right here. We're the worst. Okay, here it is. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so this is what it is. So this person who we should already be a little concerned because the name of this person is Team Jennifer Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> just... Jennifer Aiden. And wasn't and they... it retweeted by like Jennifer Aiden's haircut? You know, some... <laughs> Probably. Wow, she has so many endorsements. Um, but the and by the way, the handle is at protect Jennifer. So already kind of hilarious. Like it could just be over right there. It's so... Olivia. This is basically Olivia the Eagle spreading this shit. Oh, I'm sorry. This person just actually retweeted something, but she says, Sai Homewrecker confirmed. Hashtag Roni. Okay, the actual tweet says. This is the actual tweet is from someone named Vixen Jenny. And it says, Jessel, next time you see Sai, ask her about how she took her husband from his ex wife and got knocked up while working at his bar. Eyeball emoji. You didn't hear that from me, though. Dot, dot. Didn't really, couldn't commit to a third dot to really nail that ellipses moment home. But yeah, that is the tweet. Okay, so now this has led to, I saw that when we, so when someone tweeted at, at us and i was like eh, that's pro you know look there's some problematic things about it first of all the stealing the husband thing i am a lover of vixen movies you know like the laura flynn boyle film or uh sherilyn i'm just naming people from twin peaks but you know what i mean like red rock <laughs> log or, lady yeah <laughs> the movie that jennifer lopez was in you know yes, like i love the noir. ones where it's like it seems like it's like an innocent lady but then she turns out to be the vixen in the end by the way spoiler alert to all those movies because just kind of ruined all those everyone but, should watch um, red rock west by the way it is absolutely amazing go on oh i just watched one that was like a tribute to that tv show that was really good i won't say the title because it's a spoiler but um <clears throat> i love those vixen <laughs> i love those vixen shows <gasps> oh. yes. i love the vixen shows um but you know, and so in the in the context of those shows, of course you can steal a man. You know, you could you just have to be good. But in real life, you don't really steal a man. I don't love the whole blaming. You know, Sai, even if she did fuck some guy who owned a bar and that's got pregnant fault. and did all, let's fuck that guy. That's his fault. She wasn't she wasn't married to anyone. I still don't think it's great, man or woman, when you're fucking somebody else who's married. You know, that's obviously not great. But it's not in the same category as being the married person who's cheating um okay now that said is it true i don't know because sai everything i've read about sai all of her interviews says all all the interviews say that she was married 14 years ago and if you read the people things are saying oh yeah back when they were married 14 years ago blah 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 well then somebody posted in reddit today thank you for posting this love you reddit Someone posted, Cy and David were married in 2017, not 2009, and they went and dug up the actual sauce from mm. the state websites, the city and state websites and everything. So then it becomes, well, was she lying about that or was she just saying they've been together for 14 years? She didn't necessarily say they were married. Maybe people just misunderstood them. I don't know. It's just a, it's a lot. It just keeps coming. Just I've been I've been in bed reading comments for days. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I don't. I mean, this is strange. And then and then of course, uh, there was this uh, story that Sai posted that that you shared with me, where she's like reading my DMs today, like ha ha ha, because it was an emoji. Y'all are wild. Thanks for the laughs. 
Mm, I don't know, but not I, I a mean, denial. But it's not a denial. But like, I still. How do we reconcile the fact that her everything, the bio, all the official information says they've been married for fourteen years, but the uh, the marriage license says two thousand seventeen. Like she wasn't correcting People Magazine and Us Weekly and all these other national publications that were quoting, you know, saying 14 years. So it's a little weird. Um, Is it like a marriage license thing? Was it was there a Tom Schwartz issue where they got married? Maybe and that was it. it. Maybe out... they had a small ceremony, but then it turned out to be, you know, they didn't get the license or whatever. I mean, I don't know. It could That's... be that. I don't know. I mean, do you? Th I mean, it's weird because. I don't get the energy from her that she would be someone who would really be into a guy who's already married, but. Well, I mean, listen, a guy who, uh, a guy, I would, what, what should I say that? I would be into a guy who's married if he. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe that's not the best argument to be making, but I don't love know. Love love. I don't know if there's a type that would be into a man whether he's married or not. I mean, I think sometimes you just, I don't know. I'm not going to judge that. And Love strikes, plus, strikes. I haven't really gotten the impression that size is a great moral person either or like not moral. I mean, I don't know. I haven't really gotten any, any of her personality except that she's hungry and she's extremely rude to people. And she loves, she even, someone pointed out in the comments today, she was even trying to out trauma her own daughter at the bakery <laughs> yeah. or whatever that they went to this week. So here's another post on Bravo Real Housewives on Reddit. Um, she apparently, and this is a screenshot from her Twitter, I mean, not her Twitter, her Instagram. Someone said, did you really steal your husband? Say it ain't so. And she wrote back, I just heard this info today and honey, H-U-N-N-Y, I'm invested. This tea is piping hot, but let's see this boy math play out. First of all, that's not what boy math is. Even I know I don't that. Know, I don't know a, what boy math even is. I'm an uncle. Well, What's you know, there math? was that girl math. There was the girl math. You guys, this is basically, at this point, an old lady podcast where we explain <laughs> memes that we've Googled. What is, but this is, what the, is she saying, honey, with H-U-N-N-Y? <laughs> <laughs> Girl math was this meme where it was like a girl, if something's under $5, then to a girl it's free. Or if something was on sale, then she'll say, look how much money I saved you, honey. That's like girl, H-U-N-N-Y. That's girl math. <laughs> so then the retaliation of boys was like boy math. Like a boy can't cook, clean, or tie his own shoes, but then is mad that uh, men are lonely. You know, stuff like that. So it's kind of like a boys are hypocrites so type of nothing thing. Nothing to do with arithmetic. <laughs> Got it. Sorry, I was like, well, excuse me, let me dust off my math Olympiad plaque <laughs> from ninth grade. Oh, never mind. I mean, listen, every time I think I know something, it turns out I'm wrong. So maybe I'm wrong on what it is, but I don't think boy math is like, let's see how many years he was actually married to somebody else and then how old my children are versus how long I've been married. Because I think something in her, people have been, I didn't. I, I did us both a favor and didn't screenshot every single thing I read, but people were saying that she has a blog and in her blog, she was saying that both her kids were at her wedding. Like she didn't get married until after she had her second kid, but then later she was saying she'd been married all this time to David. So I don't really know. David. Um, here's what I do know. It is interesting. This came out the same week that on the episode, she's basically, her husband was basically like, if you didn't fuck me for that long, our relationship would be over and all this stuff. And then them dragging Jessel and her relationship and suggesting that Pavit's off cheating in Vietnam, which those allegations are kind of like problematic as well. So I don't know, it's just interesting timing. And um, yeah. Jessel, we know that your fake name on the internet is Jen Aiden's haircut, baby. <laughs> By the way, uh, Carmen Nola 23 says, boy math is saying he's six feet, but he's really 5'10". Yes. That's yeah. boy math. Okay, I get that. Um, uh, I have to say, first of all, this really speaks to also um, the casting on this show because I don't need my Real Housewives to be full of scandal. Uh, I just need them to be interesting. But I've found that usually Real Housewives cast members are so... Um, they're so delusional and they're so um, like self-involved 
that they just le naturally leave a trail of scandal behind them. And so the fact that there is no scandal, like this is the first real scandal I think that we've had for this cast. Am I right? Like, have there has there been any other scandal? Anything close? We well, there's Aaron. Really talked about well, there's a bunch. Aaron and like you know January six, but like in terms of like fun scandals. Well, she didn't <laughs> actually crawl through that window. Okay, <laughs> oh, to be fair. Uh, oh, there's been some. There's been like the thing, the rumors that Jessel. Well, Jessel and Pavit apparently live in Dallas, Jessel and they puking. were going to be Bravo, can Bravo Candy Bitch. Hi, Bravo Candy Bitch. She does remind us of the best scandal. Going into the season, Jessel puking all over the premiere. We did we did talk about that one. That's great. Um, also, there was the whole rumor that Jessel and Pavit were originally cast for Dallas because they live in Dallas. And that yeah. they only moved to New York to be on The Housewives. And that's why people are giving her shit. And like she doesn't know the neighborhoods and stuff. Um, but she does know the fashion industry so well there. And then she said in her own Instagram, like, come on. So we're in Dallas sometimes because Pavit has business there with street <laughs> food. But at the end of the day, New York is my town. <laughs> I mean... You know, just because Pavit traveled to Dallas because he heard that they were unveiling a new type of French fry at a local restaurant does not mean it's a scandal. <laughs> yeah, so let's see. Who else is there? Jenna. Jenna's most recent non-scandal was that she posted. She's got a new girlfriend, and she posted a picture with her girlfriend, and her hand was up, and it showed a big diamond ring on her wedding finger. Yeah. And um, so everyone's like, oh, my God, Jenna's getting married. And then she was pose, uh, posting like spoof pictures after that. Of, spoof like, pictures. Just she's going to be marrying everybody. Right. So that wasn't really a scandal. But there was but, that. But, you know, by the way, this photo of like, so it's so she's not getting married. Is that what you're saying? But this is her girlfriend, so. though. This is her girlfriend that she's taking the photo with. Yeah. Because she Jenna is maintaining the age old tradition among, amongst amongst the gays. And um, I think that may extend to the entire not just the gay men, but like there is this phenomenon of people in the gay community dating people who look exactly like themselves. And Jenna, yeah. this this woman, they look identical. Like for a moment, I was like, which one is Jenna? Because Jenna doesn't quite look like Jenna, but this lady doesn't quite look like not Jenna. And um, I'm just happy to see that she's maintaining this strange narcissistic phenomenon in our community. <laughs> yeah, gay men especially, I think, do that. I think gay women change it up a little bit. Uh, gay men definitely date themselves. Unfortunately, I've not found a Columbo lookalike. I've not found anybody that looks like the, pre <laughs> the preacher guy in uh, Game of Thrones. Is your phone on vibrate? It's supposed to be on Do Not Disturb. I hear something um, vibrating. Over there. It is literally not on vibrate, but I want, I don't know what that noise is. That me just, <laughs> well, that's, that's not me. That's not me. My phone is not on vibrate. I'm not getting any text. I'm I'm on do not disturb. Maybe the vibration. Okay. I just wanted coming... to shame you. God, I, I hate when I try and shame you police. and I'm just. <laughs> maybe the police are teasing my house. <laughs> the police there five hours later to help you. Thanks guys. Everything's mm -hmm. great in here. Okay. Uh, why don't you read another question? I would love Man. to do that. First of all, hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Again, on Instagram and on L YouTube. Just um, catching up on comments. Yup, Abe, Abe is cheating, someone said. Abe is no babe. I just don't see it. The wow. NYU student. Ooh, I don't know what that means. What's the name of the Reddit thread Ronnie mentioned? Oh, uh, the I've thread, got a... there, the uh, Bravo Real Housewives is the subreddit I read a lot. I also read Real Housewives, which is another subreddit. And you'll see it. It's, I don't have the specific thread name, but you guys can figure it out. It's like, Psy sucks, or something like that. Oh, we've got some good questions. Some oh, good also, Psy rents. There's, that's another comment that I've been reading a lot. Is Psy keeps saying that she owns her house, but she rents, and people were like looking up her lease and stuff. Let me just say, I do not ever want to piss off the Bravo audience. These people are not joking around. I mean, they have mm -hmm. looked up, they have turned over every stone in Psy's life. They really have. Um, okay, okay. Um, okay, I'm going to start with a fun one first. So this one is from Egina, and it's and the question is, did you hear rumors about a potential Real Housewives of Austin? Austin seems like such a weird choice. Nashville is right there. 
So I had not even heard about this. Have you heard about a Real Housewives of Austin? Have They've you seen been... them filming? And will you be on it as a friend of? I have not seen them filming, but I live in a little town outside of Austin, so I'm not really there as much. I've There have been rumors for years and years that they're doing Austin. Everybody denies it. Um, I do hear they're doing a Real Housewives of Nashville. But I don't know. I think they're doing. I think they're doing like eight million Real Housewives shows, and just seeing which ones kind of stick, right? Because yeah, I feel like we've been hearing the same cities over and over. Yeah, I I agree. Um, I'm sort of surprised they haven't done like a Real Housewives of like the Bay Area, just because of all the tech money that's up there. You would think there's some wealth, and there'd be some tacky ass wives up there, but maybe that's not their vibe right now. Um, I mean, Real Housewives of Austin would definitely be kind of like trendy. I don't know if that, I don't know if a Real Housewives of Austin would work or not, but maybe that would be their way. Just how they kind of change Real Housewives of DC into Real Housewives of Potomac. It's their way of still like doing a Texas show, you know, not since we don't have uh, Dallas. Well, Dallas is far and it's completely different than Austin. Totally. So, that, so it would make, it would make sense to do one here. And also Austin has a lot of like tech now, like tech yeah. money. So there's a lot of zillionaires over here doing that kind of stuff. I mean, I don't know. Who knows everybody? Not me. Um, well, I, I mean, listen, I would be very interested to see anything. Uh, by the way, someone said, is Dom doing anything with Dancing with the Stars this season? He's not because he's on the East Coast right now and he's choreographing a new musical called The Great Gatsby. So everyone should go see it if they can see it. Um, the other thing is this. Okay. Lisa Q Kitty 77 asks, what do you think about Gary being quietly removed from BravoCon? I support it personally. Yeah, they should scrap that show. They should take Gary off. I mean, my God, after the season we just sat through and then it turns out he assaulted a producer. So if anybody's heard that, a producer came out in a, um, I think it was a producer. No, it wasn't a producer. It was like a, was it makeup? Oh, you guys. I don't I'm remember. So it, it was an someone assistant. on the crew. It was a crew member and he was all over this crew member, grabbed her, brought her into his room, started coming. I mean, it's just gross. He's just nasty. Um, yeah. yeah, he it's, it's way past Gary's time to go. We've called it ever since the beginning that this guy is not cute. It's gross. It's problematic. Yeah. And with all the stuff that we've gone through in this world, but especially this country in the past few years, that it comes to below deck and people are like, oh my God, Gary, but Gary's so cute. He's just a fun boy. That boy yeah. ain't mathing. That boy math ain't mathing. I'll tell you that. <laughs> that boy man. It was a yeah, makeup artist, people are saying in the comments. Yeah. Yeah, no, he, um, yeah, I'm okay with getting rid of Gary because also I was really repulsed by him on Project Runway. He really, like, just the, the speed with which he just started, you know, hitting on Anna, Anna. I mean, I was like, this guy wastes no time. He's also like, he's, it's like, if he goes one night, without getting ass it's like it's like unheard of like it's like he's just sort of someone that's like okay these are the available options to me i'm gonna choose one and this is what i'm gonna go after instead of saying like i don't have to do this i don't know i mean i just yeah i think that like the first season i really enjoyed gary second season i was like oh this guy's sort of like a perv but like i'm still enjoying but the third season i was like this guy actually has a problem and uh so then when all this news came out it's like yep let's 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 move on from gary Okay, so I try not to uh, get too into shows that aren't on the air right now because one of the shows, you know, by the time it comes onto the air, we're bored. Like, I'm already bored of Beverly Hills. We already know this Morgan Wade, Kyle scandal is bullshit. A, it's bullshit. And B, it's not going to happen on the season. We're gonna, they're going to show like some little clips from when they picked cameras back up, and we're going to have to sit through a whole season of this fakery. It's pissing me off. One of the worst shows about this is Real Housewives of New Jersey. They have not, they have not stopped leaking about that show since it went off for the season. The news is still full of it every day with these people. The latest news is pretty good, though. So I thought Wait, I'd I'm share so, this. I'm sorry. Before you even get into it, I just have to say I love our listeners because while you're saying this, everyone just keeps on writing, Gary is a pornography. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Cosby quote. <laughs> Gary is a pornography. <laughs> He's a pornography. <laughs> Okay, well, here's a couple of things coming out of Jersey this this week. The first one's really fun. It's Joe Gorga. Check out this billboard, guys. Yup, I'm a non-attorney partner at 10 
xlaw.com. So if you was injured in a car accident, email me at joe at 10xlaw.com. Joe at 10xlaw.com. He literally types it twice in a row. Forget about it. And I'll connect you with one of my attorneys for a free consultation and get you the money you deserve. And then it's a big, <laughs> it's a big billboard and he's pointing up to it. Cause you know, Joe Gorga loves to pose in front of things and point upwards. Yep. And it's uh, him standing in front of a billboard where he's doing this, like the double point, like the day, there he is, that pose. There he is. And it says car accident, forget about it. F-U-H-G-E-T-A-B-O-U-T-I-T. -E Forget about it. So that's so, one piece. Wait, no, no, no. This wait, we can't just say that's just one piece and move on. Like that was just like uh like it rained today. No. <laughs> wait a second. So his new thing, who is calling Joe Gorg? Okay, if you're in an injury, if you got injured in a car accident and your instinct to say is to call Joe Gorga, guess what? You caused the car accident. You're already guilty. If that is, if your instinct is to go to Joe Gorga, that means that your instinct on the road is terrible. You were going the wrong way on a street. I can already tell you what happened. You just but crashed into a dumpster. <laughs> but also, if you get in a wreck with somebody, let me just give you some free advice as another non-lawyer attorney. You don't want to forget about it. Okay. If you go into your no. lawyer and they say what happened, you don't say forget about it. You tell you need to remember what happened. It's just terrible advice. It's a very bad billboard. And what is this? What is this URL? 10xlaw.com? Is that 10 times law? 10x? Is it? Is it tenafly? Teneflylaw.com. What ten, is? It's teneflyx.com. Joe, and he's wearing a he's wearing a baseball cap that says Joe at 10xlaw.com. I mean, disgusting, disgusting. <laughs> and it's right above a Popeyes, by the way. He's I, pointing up. I'm like, are you pointing? <laughs> are you pointing at Popeyes? Or are you pointing at? Forget about it. Hey ma. Hey ma. Yeah, I just got into a car accident. Yeah, 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 don't worry. I've just called a non-attorney partner at a law firm. <laughs> he said, forget about it. Hey, it's Preston from Summer House Martha's Vineyard. Hi, Preston, we love your show. Hope you're back the second season. Oh, hi, Preston. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a good second season. God, they had, they had a great first season. Okay, so okay. let's let's go to this next piece <laughs> wait, of news. Wait, L, wait, L, uh, I don't know how to say your name. Crescioni says, Archie calls Joe Gorga. Oh. Hey, <laughs> I'm the number one law firm representing dogs who were innocent bystanders in cars that clipped houses. <laughs> this dog was in a car that was going forget about it miles per hour. He dropped his ball. <laughs> Forget, Forget about, about it, Miles. Um, hi, this is uh, Shannon Bedora. I would like to speak to a non-attorney partner. Yes, um, a house drove into my car recently, and I would like to see for damages. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so this next piece of news was pretty good. Jennifer Aiden and Danielle Cabral. This is from Us Weekly. Thanks for letting us rip you off, Us. Um, <laughs> thanks, Us. Thanks, Us, from Us. Love Us. Uh, they are currently suspended from filming season 14 of The Real Housewives of New Jersey, and Us Weekly has exclusive details on what led to the suspension. They got into a mutual physical altercation. That's quote unquote, mutual physical altercation on Thursday, September 21st, over several issues. Jennifer and Danielle got in a fight about a hairdresser they both use and uh, money for a charity event that Danielle allegedly didn't donate to. If Joey Maloof is at the center of this scandal, I will be very upset. And you know or who Priscilla. else will be upset? Or it's definitely Priscilla. It's got to be Priscilla. But do you so, think? Do you think Teresa would share? Well, yeah, she would share Priscilla uh, with Dan. Not that she's a piece of meat, you know. Sorry, Priscilla, but you know, Teresa would share her hairdresser with her two, the two people on her side. Right? Of course, she would. Um, but of course, since they are both vying for Teresa's attention, they have to like, there can only be one sidekick. And so Jennifer and Danielle have to fight to get to be Teresa's true. number one. Yeah. So um, my favorite part about this is, you know, of course, we don't condone violence. Of course, yada, yada, yada. We don't so, condone it, but we still love it. Listen, but, I don't, but condone, I, might... I don't condone Ben and Jerry's for breakfast, but I still do it. I still love it. I don't condone violence, but I appreciate if there is going to be violence, that it be funny violence. So this violence, yeah. okay. The insider said that Jennifer, who pushed Danielle first, was on the mend after the small injury, which came as a result 
of a plastic cup being thrown at her. Oh my goodness, everyone. And then another report I read that Danielle had crumpled up a plastic cup and threw it at Jennifer. <laughs> oh, Bella, I just got hit with a plastic cup. Who am I gonna call? I wish I had a non-attorney partner right now for my injuries, baby. <laughs> Neither reality stars addressed the news directly on social. Danielle, though, seemed to allude to the situation with a cryptic quote. Focus on the good and let God handle the rest, Danielle said on her Instagram story. As for Jennifer, she's continued to show support for Teresa Judice and her family on the online platform. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Teresa wasn't even in this fight. <laughs> this just in. Jennifer still supports Teresa. Of course, Jennifer still supports Teresa. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm just imagining Jennifer in a hospital bed with like ba a bandage around her head, you know, IVs beeping, and basically in that scene in the soap dish with Bolt. And she's like, Oh, baby, if I don't make it to tomorrow, I tell Danielle, I hope she would thought it was worth it when she threw that plastic cup at me. Oh, tell my kids I love them. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I don't know. That's sad, right? Um, a lot of But do you think they should have been suspended? Do you think they should have been suspended for that? For like a like one throws plastic cup? I, I mean, I'm assuming yeah. Bravo has a zero tolerance policy. Well, they're getting well, you know, these two are ruining it for everybody because Jersey is the most violent show, right? <laughs> like, there's something every year about Jersey. It gets to it's the grossest as far as that stuff goes, and they just they don't do anything about it, and it just gets worse. Like, how many times have they told Jen, you know, cut this shit out, Jen? And here she is, here she is doing it again. But also, they're ruining it for everybody because now Bravo had the next day they had some like class on alcohol that everybody had to go to it's like a mandatory now we're gonna have mandatory <laughs> mandatory alcohol training on bravo are you trying to kill these shows i mean <laughs> jesus christ real housewives of new york is already an aa session in like the most boring <laughs> part of town now you're gonna try and bring everybody into your non-alcohol classes this is your fault jen aiden and what's your face cabral my theory is there was actually a really terrible brawl that happened um, over the summer with Potomac. That happened when cameras were down, cameras were down, but there was a horrific b brawl. And I feel like Bravo was like, no, we cannot have this. And now they're in, they, of course, they're like zero tolerance. You know, whether it's a plastic cup or whether it's something more serious, we will not stand for this. But well, zero tolerance would be firing people. This is a Bravo zero. To this is like a kind of tolerance. <laughs> it's like yeah. a, if it's like, well, it's tolerant. You just need a break. Okay, this is a break. It's not a break up. It's, it's not a break up. Hey, um, some a lot of people have been asking in the comments about if I am watching Big Brother. I'll just say very quickly, I am watching Big Brother, but I am a week behind. I find that the show's the cast is really good, but the show with this with all these uni the multiverse is so awful that I usually watch a few and then I have to like move away for a week and then I binge. So I haven't watched the outcome of who is coming back in the house, and I have not watched Sunday Night Show. So that is where I'm at with Big Brother. I. I actually, despite everything, am enjoying the season, but I wish that CBS would not work so hard to make the thing that I love be so bad at all times. Um, uh, I got bored after two weeks, and I said to myself, you know what, you're smarter than this, Ronnie, and then I quit, and I've <laughs> never felt better. <laughs> okay, so bye, stupid show, goodbye. Until next year, when I watch you yeah. again and get re-obsessed with you. I think that's um, fair. Yeah. Um, but by the way, speaking of, I, I mentioned Potomac, and you mentioned this earlier, uh, Mia and Gordon. Wow. So uh, the question is, is uh, no, no one cares. Okay, moving on. Next topic. <laughs> Mia yeah. and Gordon split. No one okay, cares. well, actually, why don't we move over to some viewer calls over here on the Instagram Live? So that means everybody who's listening to this show, thank you so much for listening to it. We love you guys. Thank you, everybody on YouTube, on Instagram Live. Come back in a couple of weeks. Everybody on Instagram Live, stay here because we are just going to move to the call section. But everybody else, thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye to those people. Hi.